three-day stretch at the end of December and into early January. Three top ten teams they took to town. Tennessee visiting Rutgers for the first time, and Volunteers coach Pat Summit wasn't ready for what she saw tonight. I like to bring the heat, and if you don't take care of the basketball, they will turn you over. Rutgers at the half. Nicky Jet three. Rutgers by 20. They hold Tennessee to 15 points in the first half. This is the second lowest total in the history of that program. Rutgers win over Tennessee last Wednesday was right up there with Vivian Stringer's greatest wins on the banks of the old Raritan. As great a win as it was over the eighth-ranked volunteers, the Scarlet Knights had a chance to top it on Sunday. RU paid a visit to fourth-ranked Texas. A team which had won 41 straight games at home. Nice pass inside. Doing the damage on the block. T. Ashavon with the sweet finish. Campy Pondexter, who came up big in the second half when her team needed a boost. Rutgers trailed by 16 at the half, but like a Texas twister, here they come. Well, Texas to 11 in the second half, which is the lowest in the history of their program. Newark's Matty Ajavon. It's ruled a two. We were tied at 47. Then with a minute 15 to play, Ajavon. Ice water in her veins. Gets the layup, gives Rutgers the lead, 49-47, and here's the dagger. Another freshman, Patterson's essence, Carson's, oh, the essence of another victory. Rutgers upset fourth-ranked Texas, 51-47. It was the Longhorns' first loss at home in three years. Up to number 14 in the rankings. But the task has not been tougher than it was tonight. LSU, top rank in the land. You ready to play each and every person here. It's in your voice, it's in your posture, it's in your hands. It's with the drive, it's about focus. It's about 40 solid minutes, intense minutes. Rutgers with a late rally to force it into overtime, and then they win. How about the Scarlet Knights? They take down another national power tonight. Down goes number one LSU, 51-49 in overtime. So, uh, from the bottom of my heart, I just really want to say thank you guys. Mm -hmm. It's just a special, a special week I have ever seen. Me too. Uh, the biggest jump in the history of the NCAA, where he has 